Yeah, one of the added benefits of our pest management group is not just controlling feral animals, but it just uh, gives us a greater sense of community and it gets us together on a regular basis where we can not just talk about feral animals, but get to um, have a few yarns and enjoy each other's company, particularly during the dry time when uh, you know, drought was getting people down a bit and a lot of us are pretty isolated, but if we can get together, we can uh, yeah, keep our, our community together. It just gives people the feeling that we've got uh, support of a lot of other people, not just our community, but Western Local Land Services, who are only too willing to help with the feral animal control. The NLS have always been important in terms of working with the landowners individually and now the groups in terms of um, the baiting programs, the administration of the uh, 1080 and that sort of thing. But it's also wider collaboration over the last six years. The, um, uh, the Western Division has, has had a dedicated um, wild dog coordinator um, who's worked pretty hard to, in a sense, get groups together in, in concert with the LS. It's been a collaboration. Um, to, to try to get the best of everything and, um, and in terms of getting outside resources, AWI have been very instrumental in the efforts and the, and the money they've put into the wild dog programs in the West. So I think you know, there's a lot of acknowledgement needs to go there. But, but yeah, so it's, it's been a collaboration, just like we've got a lot of tools in the toolbox. We, we've also needed that um, the collaboration between the various entities to get the best result. So there's obviously a, a, a strong social side here, particularly at Tilpa. We've clearly got the pub. 20 odd people come together as a group spend the morning together, they're catching up, they probably haven't, we haven't done baiting for six months. And particularly coming out of a drought, we've got the water flowing down, down the river at the moment, so it's great, there's plenty of positivity, and here's just another good chance that they get to catch up with each other. Landholders are the eyes and the ears on, on the ground for us, and we can't help tailor our programs unless we're hearing from everybody. So yeah, really get your message across, let us know what you're seeing on the ground, so then we can help improve our programs.